Hello everyone, let's learn about gallstones and its management. Now three things that you need to know about gallstones. The most common type is the cholesterol stone. 90% of them are radiolucent and ultrasound of the abdomen is the investigation of choice. Now what are the indications for cholecystectomy? If the patient is having symptomatic gallstones, he undergoes a surgery. Now if the patient is asymptomatic and the stones are picked up incidentally, if the patient is diabetic or if the size of the stone is more than 2.5 to 3 centimeters, the patient also undergoes a surgery at that point of time. But what's important is a separate category of conditions which need what we call as a prophylactic cholecystectomy. Now the best way of remembering it is by looking at this image. Can you see how big and long this gallbladder is? This is a cholecystectomy that we performed recently. Now after we remove this gallbladder, what do we do? We send it for histopathological examination. So remember the mnemonic, long gallbladder for histopathology. So long common channel, gallbladder polyps more than 1 cm in size, patients undergoing bariatric surgery, patients who have hemolytic anemia and patients who have a porcelain gallbladder. Now also remember, most of these are also the risk factors for developing gallbladder cancer. Now in case you have sent the gallbladder for histopathology and they tell you that it's cancer, if it is T1A, then a simple cholecystectomy, what you have done is sufficient. But if it is T1B and beyond, the patient needs a radical cholecystectomy. Thank you.